With Mathematica, you no longer need to use a separate program for presentations. In less than a minute, you can turn your entire notebook, including notes, typeset equations, data, graphics, and models, into a dynamic slideshow. So let's do another Alt-4. One more section we'll call this Presentations. So in the previous videos, we talked a little bit about doing your first calculations, doing your first graphics, doing some text, and documenting all within Mathematica. One step further, let's talk about presentations in Mathematica. So I'm going to hit Alt-5 to make a new subsection and call this Slideshow. So I have this great notebook. We've done, you know, really a lot of work already in a short amount of time. But now I want to present this either to my class or to colleagues at a company. Maybe I want to show my manager, whatever. I want to make this into a really nice slideshow to illustrate the work that I've done. You can go up to Palettes and Slideshow Palette, and it opens up this palette for you. I can either make a new slideshow, or what I wanted to do here was to create a slideshow from the current document. So I'm going to click on that, and it asks, how do you want to create the slides? Do you want to break it up by input, by output, by section, etc.? I'm going to break it up by section. So I'll hit Insert, and now it's taken my entire notebook and inserted those slides for me. All I need to do now is click View Environment and make it a slideshow, and now I have my slideshow to maneuver through. So the nice thing is with most presentation softwares, you're using a static document, but not with Mathematica. This is all completely live. I can go in, I can do calculations on the fly. For example, remember our 224 divided by 24,248 on slide 3. If I go in and put another 2 on this, it's completely live that I'm doing these calculations with. So if I say in, percent sign, that last output, I've got a new approximation. So it's a really simple means of making a slideshow in Mathematica and keeping that dynamic capabilities. Now let me go back to our last slide, and I'm going to make one more subsection using Alt-5. I'm going to call this Traditional Form for Results. You've seen me do a lot of calculations so far, and hopefully you've done these along with me. Now, let's go back and remind ourselves of one, because I have an important point I want to make about that. Let's go to Palettes and Basic Math Assistant again. Let's go to Calculus tab and click on that indefinite integral. I'm going to fill this in with my keyboard. The expression is 1, control fraction sign to make that two-dimensional fraction, 1 minus x, control 6 to make that two-dimensional exponent, 3, I can hit the tab key then to move on uh, to that next placeholder, and then integrate with respect to x and hit shift enter. Now you'll notice the output looks like that of Mathematica. We've got capital letters on function names, we have square brackets, now that's great. It really reinforces the Mathematica programming language to me, but when thinking about doing presentations for my manager or my class or my colleagues, I really want it to look like what they're used to, uh, what they'd see as a mathematics, um, you know, the aesthetics of math, or what they'd find in a math textbook for my students. So there's an option under Edit and Preferences in which you can change all of your output to what's called traditional form. So when I'm ready to make the aesthetics of my document or notebook look like the way I want it to present, I'll go ahead and change it to traditional form. I can recalculate, and now you see the output that looks like the traditional math textbook, which I think is really quite nice. So in the last screencast, we'll go through a complete example from start to finish, incorporating all the things we've learned about so far.